What is up guys, Jake from One Hive here with a special video coming to you from Beer Gockles. Over here for one of their special events, in case you guys don't know, they have these all the time. Uh, you can get involved in them, hit up a beer, um, excuse me, hit up Buckeye Guy uh, at Beer Gockles. He will give you information on when the next one's coming out. Uh, but it's always a theme of, of what the event is. This one was Hard Cider and Healers. So all of the attacks had to have a healer in them, at least four of them actually. Uh, and so you're going to see a lot of queen walks, things like that. Unfortunately for the guys over at Beer Goggles, uh, they got matched up with a farming plan for this one. So not a competitive war, but it was still a lot of fun for them, I think. So we will check out some attacks and just enjoy those uh, that we can. So the first one we're going to look at right here is Bobby the Boss taking on number 11. Obviously doing it with a queen walk. And this is a Town Hall 10 hit. So really, really nicely done by Bobby there. Uh, and doing it with, you know, not necessarily uh, maxed out heroes or anything. It's... Uh, you know, he has one level two Inferno, one level one Inferno. Uh, but the real thing here is the non-maxed air defense. Had this base had maxed air defense, would have been much more difficult. So Bobby exploits that with, by going to the air. Uh, just drops down his healer, his queen, and the healer's on there. That minion to sort of push her the direction he wants her to go. Uh, then she's going to take out that archer tower and then continue on around the base. Right there, taking it out. Uh, just encountering one point defense at a time, so she's in pretty good shape right here. Finally, a, a second cannon locks onto her. Uh, but no big deal. Right there, Zap Quake on that, that first air defense. Boom, it goes down, even gets a little bit of damage onto that Inferno Tower. So 180 down, continues to walk around the base. And then from the left side here in just a moment, he is going to come in with his kill squad. Uh, I think he has a Golem in the CC, pretty sure. Uh, has his King obviously going in. And they're going to try to get in, get that Queen taken care of, and get a second air defense out of it. Uh, possibly, in, uh, possibly that Inferno Tower as well. We'll see. Uh, but just continuing on with the walk, she's doing her thing. In fact, we'll fast forward just a little bit. Queen walks a little bit slow. Okay, there we go. Golem goes down. Wizard's behind it. Going to create the funnel. Just make sure it breaks it to where everything's going to go in at that point and not continue on around the base. Uh, one test wall breaker right there, and then the rest of them come in. Boom, opens it right up. Uh, Golem goes in. King goes down. He's going to start going in. And from there, actually, the king starts to go for a walk here. I didn't notice that last time. King walks around the base, just needed to make that funnel a little bit wider. If you have to bring a giant or whatever, something to take out a few more of those trash buildings, it's always worth it. Uh, but the queen continues to go in. You see that the healers actually peel off and get onto that golem, uh, so keeping them up a little bit. But more importantly, the queen is about to take out that air defense. As soon as that expo goes down, she's going to lock on. Boom, it's there. It's taken out. So now the king's using his ability, going around the bottom of the base. The queen's in there. She is locked onto the defending king. So she's going to chase him down a little bit. Good thing that, is that only, the only thing that's hurting her right now, the only thing that's hitting her is that single target Inferno. It uses her ability, or excuse me, that single uh, stream of that multi Inferno. So not a lot of damage coming to her. Uses the ability to take out the Queen, or the King, and the Inferno Tower. Everything goes down. And then he's starting in his Lava Hound part of the attack. Lava Hounds and Balloons going in. Nice freeze right there. Uh, getting that Inferno Tower shut down. And then just the haste, the rage, everything, keeping them moving forward uh, very quickly towards that Inferno Tower right there. You see, finally. Uh, they get on there, but two of the streams being taken up by those lava hounds, so that's nice. And then the last air defense goes down from there. The queen's still up. She's about to get that next expo, uh, and then move on to that wizard tower. Only a few defenses left, and a pretty good little group of balloons there are going to get it taken out. Uh, so there's a lava hound up, so that's not a great thing. But hey, has plenty of ha plenty of pups up. Uh, the queen's still up, has a few minions, and gets the three star. So excellent attack to Bobby the boss. Really nice queen walk, and just ten out ten out ten three stars. So good job, man. All right, moving on, moving on. And again, some of these three stars, guys, are just some like uh, troll bases, you know, just stuff just spread everywhere, not not actual bases. So we really had a limited uh, thing of what we could pick from on this one. Again, it's unfortunate, but I'm sure they had a good time. Uh, I've been in these events, and they are a fun time. So uh, check them out for sure. Uh, right here, come at it with a, a go a ho low wee wee, I guess. It's what you'd call it. Um, love it, though, because look at what the spell comp was. Four quakes to open up that core, and then two jumps. I mean, really, only four looms, like for a, quote, back-end attack type style thing, uh, just drops the queen down and the healers. But this whole attack is just based on uh, free movement through the base. You know, that open that core is wide open now at this point. Uh, so once those golems and the witches all start going down, clearly uh, the, the plan here for Absolute Gamer is just to let everything continue to move forward, not have to beat on walls, and just take this base out as, as he works his way through it. So great plan. Uh, you see the golems go down there. Three golems go down. Wizards to create that funnel, take out all those high HP storages. And then down at the bottom, he's going to start dropping his witches in in just a moment. Uh, they see the queen taking a little bit of damage. Has to use, go ahead and use that ability. But then she wraps back around and continues on. Uh, the jump spells down. There are the witches and the king. Everything's into that core now. And they can go all the way to the other side of the base and get whatever they want to. The enemy queen is already dead. 
uh, took her out very, very quickly. I'm waiting for the CC troops to come out right there. The poison sparrow will go down, start slowing down those wizards' damage, and start to build up the damage on them themselves. The Tesla farm pops, but those golems are out front, and that king's out front. Uh, they are tank doing all the tanking, so it's wizards, it's witches, all of that is protected. The queen's sitting back there doing some sniping, and the healers have peeled off and gotten on those golems that are taking the damage, so really keeping them full health uh, as everything moves forward there. So working out great at this point. Still has that second jump spell in the bag uh, just to allow the, the troops to move on forward. When they want to get out of this core, he's going to drop that down, let him get to that next air defense uh, so he can drop a few of those balloons. But really the story of this one is just, like again, unimpeded movement throughout the base between the quakes and the jumps right here the few uh few balloons coming down on the right side uh, he knows that that next air defense is going to go down really quickly here uh, as soon as they get to it the queen over there sort of helping out with those balloons and then right there the king gets on it that air defense goes down uh, a couple of his balloons go down there but there's only the one air defense left but again he still has his queen up so has his king up and look at those golems still up still moving through the base those golems have never stopped moving forward uh, and that's that's what kept this uh, attack successful is that they were able to do so much tanking continue to move forward uh, never stop really guarding uh, his uh, queen his other kill troops uh, but right there finally uh, the queen goes down but all that's left is that archer tower and that mortar once that archer tower goes down that's the real threat uh, they get in there get it taken out and get the three star so good job to absolute gamer all right here we go. Moving on. Let's look at, uh, let's look at Diz Devil. I'm saying that right. Yeah, Diz, Dizzy Devil taking out 22 and doing it obviously with a queen wall. And again, the quake spells, they go back to that and doing it on a general. So, you know, we don't get to see the general that often anymore. Maybe you guys run into it. I hardly ever see it. Uh, so it's always fun to watch a different way to wreck this base because I've seen this base wrecked so many different ways. It's just entertaining at this point. Uh, so right there, the quakes come down on the left side. Just open that up right for the queen there. Obviously, everything can just walk right into the base and has access to that first double giant bomb set on the left side there. So that's a big thing. Uh, CC troops start coming out. The queen's walking her way around. Uh, right here, the king goes down after the make sure the troops are all locked onto that to those golems, uses that king's ability, just gets right in there, get those barbs helping out, uh, take out the CC troops and the queen very quickly. And from there, the golems are going to go down and they're going to start getting into those giant bombs, which is what, exactly what he wants, and to start tanking for the hogs as they start to come in. 18 hogs, you see about, you know, one third of the defenses on this base, maybe a fourth of the defenses on this base are already dead. Comes in with that wave of hogs from the bottom up. Uh, just the way he's pathing them through is going to ensure that these giant bombs that are remaining are triggered one at a time. You see one going off there, drops that second heel down uh, as they come through and take out that Tesla. The second giant bomb will go off one at a time uh, right there. Boom, the first one goes off, they heal back up, take out this air defense, the second one goes off. So it's all about, that's what we learned a long time ago about the general. It's all about how you path those hogs through. Uh, actually, they, I think they completely avoided that second one, maybe right here. Yeah, triggers right there. The hogs at the bottom on that cannon get taken out, actually. But no big deal with that one cannon left. You see the queen still up, still doing her thing, taking out defenses, all of that good stuff. Uh, really got a whole lot of value out of that queen walk. So right there, the Tesla goes down, the wizard tower goes down. Only one left. It's that cannon down there that just didn't quite go down. It, it's taken out, and then those skeletons are next, and then it's just cleanup time. So fast forward through that as the queen, the archers, I think a wizard or two, and those hogs get the remaining trash buildings and get the three star for a dizzy devil. Awesome, awesome attack. And love seeing those healers being put to good use on the general. All right, one more, guys, one more. Uh, we're going to look at Rue taking out 25. And oh, what do you know? It's a queen walk. Uh, queen walk on this base, and actually I like this one, it's probably one of the more difficult bases that I saw this war, again, because a lot of more troll bases, and then you have things like the general and stuff, but this was actually an offset base, the giant bomb placement wasn't great, but uh, I love the way Rue took it apart, I just dropped the queen down a few minions to start creating that funnel, push her the direction he wants her to go, and then I think he opens up this wall here in just a minute, uh, we'll see, he's got three wall breakers, um, just encountering those point defense pretty much one at a time right there, so the queen's in good shape, dropped his golems down, uh, they're going to start moving in, start drawing some of that fire. Wizards up top to create the, that part of the funnel. And here come the wall breakers. are going to open up that compartment. Obviously, he wants to get in there to that queen. He's got the jump spell for that. But also, the, where the direction the queen's coming from, there's another giant bomb set down there. So right here, as this goes down, uh, the queen's going to step up and take out that air defense, which is a good thing because that's going to protect uh, everything from going that direction. Uh, the jump spell goes down. The poison spell goes down for the CC troops. The king's in there. The golems are going to start moving forward. Right there, look at that queen getting on that uh, giant bomb there. That's where the other set was. Uh, so she's taking out that expo. The king gets in there, gets on that defending queen really quickly, uses his ability. Uh, that poison spell is still up. And then right here come the hogs from the backside. But look at this. 
all four giant bombs are nullified. That there's the last one going down by the queen. All four of them nullified. He's got three heals for those hogs, so he can just take care of them as they go through the base. Uh, just keep them healed up. Any damage they take, just boom, right back up with the heal spell. There's so little of the base left. And really nice surgical deployment. Just waiting for uh, defenses to get distracted and then backfilling on those with more hogs and just letting them work their way through the base. Still two heal spells left. Obviously, you can see it coming. He's going to swag one of these. He only needs one more. Drops it right there. Really nice placement. Uh, as the hogs walk right into it, get the maximum effectiveness out of it. They're going to be in it till they're absolutely back to full health. Uh, we'll fast forward as these last few defenses go down, and he takes one of them spells home with him. Really, really nice attack by Rue. Uh, swags them both right in the middle, uh, the heal and the poison. Excellent, excellent job. You see he's got a, a minion up top. These, these troops have to go all the way around the base for the long way. Would have been nice to have a wizard up there working its way down, but no big deal with the extra time. Has plenty of troops left over, getting the three-star and the win. Good job, buddy. All right, guys, that is it. Again, beer goggles. Check them out. They have these every so often. I can't tell you the exact schedule. Uh, but get with Buckeye Guy. He's the leader. Uh, he's on Twitter. I think at Buckeye Guy. Or, uh, I'm sure. Maybe I'll have to look in the – they have it in here. Uh, yeah, at Buckeye Guy Clash right there on Twitter. That's where you want to get information for the future ones. They, all, they have them every so often, and they are a blast. Hope you guys liked it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive doing my best to help you guys suck less.